Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about pros and cons of owning French Bulldogs. Let's get into it. Again, welcome back to our channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Andy. And I'm Emmy. This is our French Bulldogs, Mimosa and Gizmo. And we are on the go Frenchies. If you guys are new, just take a second to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us grow and we really appreciate it. And to show our appreciation, here is a picture of Mimosa taking a nap. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into this video. So, a few of you have left comments on previous videos asking us pros and cons of owning French Bulldogs. So today, we figured we'd discuss that with you guys. Let's get started with the pros. Our first pro is the French Bulldog's personality. So, Emmy, what makes French Bulldog's personality a pro? I feel like their expression almost like human. Yeah. When we talk to Gizmo or Mimosa, or our all the friendships before and it's almost like they want to talk back but they just give you facial expression instead like they give you an attitude for oh, example yeah. yeah gizmo always gives me guff whenever it's like he almost responds to me when i ask him something or tell him to do something he gives me this like oh, 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 yeah. noise every time so and mimosa always like smile we can insert the photo right here, like she almost like, it's like she have a big smile on her face. So I think personality is the most unique things about owning a Frenchies. It's a big pros. All right, so let's move on to pro number two, which is Frenchies are great companion dogs. As you can see, they never want to leave our sight. They always want to be around us. They're so loving and attached to us. Yeah, if you're looking for a dog that's going to be always by your side and always want to be with you, this is a great dog. This dog will even follow you into the bathroom. So <laughs> they're, they're, they're a little clingy, which uh, can, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to the cons. All right, let's move on to the next pro, which is most Frenchies are good with other dogs and kids. So French Bulldogs are known to be really good with younger children and other dogs. They can always play with other dogs. Uh, we were always told that French Bulldogs are really good with a pair. Gizmo and Mimosa really love each other and are really good uh, interacting and friends with each other. So we actually prefer always having at least two French Bulldogs. Uh, so, cause they have a certain type of personality that can be a little too much for other dogs, but they work really well together. They are good with kids. Mimosa is always so gentle with kids. She uh, will always kind of like sniff and lick their hands. She never really gets mad or bites them or anything like that, which is great. Yeah, like the other week we took her to the farmer's market and she let like a lot of kids pet her and she enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, and as you can tell, she's a bit clingy. <laughs> All right, with that, let's move on to the next pro, which is they are easy with grooming. Unlike other dogs that have like long fur, Frenchies are much easier when it comes to grooming. Yeah. Just a little shit. Like when you wear black, of course, it's gonna show a little dog hair yeah, you're here and there. Having a dog, you're always gonna get dog hair on you no matter what. But being that their, their coats are so short, they shed less. They only have like a certain time of the season that they shed a little bit more when it's warmer. Um, as long as you're like brushing them and grooming them and taking them to the groomer or you know bathing them on a regular basis, uh, then you know it's easier and they're not too super high maintenance with like grooming. So that makes it super easy. All right, let's go to the next pro, which is they make such a great apartment dog. Yeah, because most French Bulldogs are smaller in structure, they don't really need a lot of space to run around. They're really low energy dogs for the most part. They do have spurts of energy where they like to do zoomies and stuff like that, but uh, for the most part, they don't need a giant space to run around and go crazy in. Yeah, they not require much of exercise. Yeah, which is another one of our pros. They need minimal exercise requirements. So if you are more like laid back person and you just want to spend most of the time around your house, then Frenchie is the breed for you. Yeah, they are uh, couch potatoes and they love, love. Just like us? Yeah, and they love, love Netflix and chill. So uh, <laughs> they love cuddling, which is awesome. They will always crawl. Gizmo loves to be under the blanket, first off. Like mm -hmm. he will crawl under and push his way under the blanket just mm -hmm. to be under the blanket and love to lay on you. So 
Um, as long as you're not like expecting a dog to go hiking or go like Marathon long marathons with, with, this is not the dog for that. But if you're looking for a little bit of a low energy, lazier, chill dog, then French Bulldogs are the right choice. So moving on to the next pro would be they are good watchdogs. Now I say watchdogs, I don't say guard dogs because mm -hmm. they're good at alerting you that someone or something is wrong. Um, around a house. Around the house, mm -hmm. but they will not like defend or attack. Mm -hmm. um, they are usually lickers. That's pretty much the extent of their attacking. Uh, they're pretty chill with that kind of stuff. So they love new people and they will always greet them with some kisses and looks. But they definitely alarm us oh when yes we have the mailman or the pool guy yes or something at the front door like somebody drop off something when we order uber eats something like that yeah anytime the doorbell goes off mm -hmm. even if it's the tv they'll, they'll alert us so yeah. uh they're pretty good about that but again pretty chill with the other end of it where they're not going to attack anyone let's move on to the last pro which is they have such a Cute, cute, cute face. Look at that face. Look at like, that who face. doesn't love a Frenchie's face with these ears and the pushed in snout and the wrinkles? Like, of course, everyone loves the way a French Bulldog looks. They're just so adorable. Everywhere we take them, we always get comments of, like, oh my God, they're so cute or so adorable. And it really comes from the way their face is structured. Also, they're so ph photogenic. Yeah. Very, very photogenic. Yeah. So, if you like social media and you like taking taking pictures and TikTok and all that, then Frenchie is your star. All right, Emmy, do you want to move into the cons of owning French Bulldogs? I guess. All right. Are there really any? Okay, <laughs> but seriously, all right, con number one is they fart a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Yeah, so it really has a lot to do with their smushed in face. Um, air tends to get trapped in their intestines uh, because of their face and causes them to fart a lot. And it also has a lot to do with their diet. Um, some of them have sensitive tummies, which causes them to have a little bit more uh, gas issues. And so it does happen, but you know, you just kind of learn to live with it. Yeah, gotta plug your nose. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to another con is that they have high maintenance health issues. I'm pretty sure you heard a lot of issues that happen to French Bulldogs. Yeah, so they're known to have uh, hip dysplasia from jumping a lot. We, always, we actually have a bunch of steps in our house going onto the furniture because we do allow our dogs on the furniture, but we just don't want them jumping up and down off of it because it's, it's bad for their back and their hips. Uh, which is a very expensive uh, like vet bill if they end up getting hip dysplasia uh, and it can cause them to be paralyzed. So it's a very serious issue. So you do want to be cautious about it. Um, but beyond that, uh, they are known to have like food allergies, sensitive skin, sensitive skin, uh, like all sorts of different crazy stuff. Yeah. So you just, mm -hmm. you just have to be very cautious and uh, we actually as soon as we got our two french bulldogs we immediately went out and got uh, pet insurance which right we away. recommend mm -hmm. as soon as you get your dog to get it uh, it truly helps and mm -hmm. specifically because a lot of those insurance companies will hold you to if you take them to the vet for any reason before you buy the insurance mm -hmm. uh, they won't cover any of those issues so say they have something wrong with their toe or their nail the whole foot is not covered anymore yeah. um, so just just be mindful of that. And also if knowing that French Bulldogs are known to have a lot of health issues, I recommend getting pet insurance immediately. Soon yeah, the earliest you, you get the health insurance, the, the more better. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on to con number three, which is the snoring. So French, Bull, <laughs> French Bulldogs are loud snorers. So if you have trouble sleeping with someone that snores, it could be an issue. So I don't snore. What are you talking about? You're the one that snores. No, you yeah. snore. So I don't get any sleep around here because no. everyone in this house snores except for no. me. But uh, I'd say Mimosa is probably the loudest snorer in this group. But it just surprised me because she just such a small little girl. Yeah. And she snored the loudest I I've ever heard. Like. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on to the other con before, before someone get hurt. Yeah, so con number four is Frenchies are prone to getting separation anxiety. 
So because French Bulldogs are clingy, um, they, can yeah, they can develop separation anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you do leave the house for long periods of time, they can get lonely and that could cause uh, destructive behaviors like digging or tearing up furniture or other things that can come with separation anxiety where they can get lonely, they don't want to eat when you're not around. Mimosa refuse to drink water. Like, yeah. If we left the house too long period of time, she would not. She won't touch the water until nope. we get home. And so then she scoffed everything. Yeah. So, and she used to do this a little bit with food at one point mm -hmm. when we lost our other dog. She was like refusing to eat when we weren't home. Mm -hmm. um, but she's kind of uh, gotten rid of that uh, when we got Gizmo mm -hmm. and she's really good about eating now. But you do need to watch out for separation anxiety. You don't want to coddle them too much mm -hmm. um, because it can cause separation anxiety. Yeah, and for Gizmo, he will keep whining, whining, and whining. He's a big baby. Yeah, he so. is. Sizes <laughs> and heart. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the next con, which is French Bulldogs are known to be stubborn. So because French Bulldogs are stubborn, they are di more difficult to train. Um, and they are, you have to kind of like coax them into doing things sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like Gizmo will just sit there and he wants to sunbathe and he will not come. He will not, he'll, he'll sit outside in the grass and he just will not come inside because I'll call him and call him, say like, do you wanna go for a ride? Do you want treats? And he just will not move because he is being stubborn. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're, they're known for that, but uh, there's ways to kind of like break it a little bit by, you know, treat driven dogs most likely was one way of like getting them to listen to you and do the training. Mm -hmm. And don't be surprised if you, you calling their name and they're never gonna come to you because that's how they are. They're super stubborn. Yeah, they can kind of hold grudges mm -hmm. too sometimes if yeah. they're they're mad about something. Mm -hmm. So they don't get it their way. So being that French Bulldogs are so stubborn, it kind of takes us into our next con, which is they are difficult for housebreaking. So Frenchies are difficult for potty training. Um, they can take a little bit longer than normal dogs. They can take anywhere up to 18 months is what I've heard, which is pretty long for a regular dog. Like for example, Mimosa, I feel like she's take forever, like four or five months until she completely understand a uh, potty train. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you wanna you wanna make sure that you are being very patient with your Frenchies mm -hmm. uh, while doing this, and it can take it can take a lot of time. So uh, we actually have a video mm -hmm. uh, uh, giving some advice of what we learned with potty training. Uh, on Our a puppy pad yeah. and also for outside. We'll go ahead and link that up here. Mm -hmm. And it'll also be in the description box below if you guys are interested in that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on to the next con, which is Frenchies are known to be expensive. So you can't hide the fact that French Bulldogs prices are on the high end. Uh, it has to do with they are a popular breed and also the way they are born into the world. It is uh, a difficult process with a C-section from the mother, which will be expensive because only a few French Bulldog can give birth naturally. Yeah, but we recommend that you look into the adoption process first before you go to a breeder. Mm -hmm. There are a bunch of sites online uh, that uh, do the adoptions of French Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. um, so we recommend that you guys look there first before immediately going to a breeder. We'll link some of the French Bulldog rescue or adoption down below. Yeah. Uh, another thing to be considered with the expense of owning a French Bulldog is the vet bills that will generate over time uh, just because of all the health issues. So just be aware of that, that it is an expensive breed because of these two factors. So the next con is that Frenchies do not do good in extreme climate conditions. So we live here in Florida and it can get really hot in the all summertime year round. and pretty much all year round. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we try to avoid walking in the hot times of the day. Uh, usually mid noon, we try to avoid that at all costs mm -hmm. and uh, try to walk them usually when it's cooler, either early morning or in the evening, mm -hmm. um, making sure that they're always hydrated. There's always water for them to drink. Even when we're going out somewhere, we bring water with us. We try not to take them out much in the summer because we don't want them to have heat stroke. That's a no, no. Yeah. A lot of Frenchies die from heat stroke quickly. Yeah. So that's the thing that you really, really have to watch out. 
Yeah, and vice versa to the heat. Uh, Frenchies are not really good in the cold weather as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a thicker coat, so they can't kind of retain the heat. Mm -hmm. um, so usually we end up having to buy some sort of dog winter jacket for them when we visit mm -hmm. my family in the colder winter seasons. So, so you do want to be cautious about this and just be aware that they are sensitive to the climate. So let's move on to the next con, which is Frenchies cannot swim. It has to do with their structure. Uh, they do have that shorter nose, which is harder to keep above uh, the water line. And also they have shorter legs, which makes it more difficult to keep such a, you know, heavier body above mm -hmm. the water. Um, so only a few, a few of them can swim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you do want to be cautious about this. Don't just throw your French Bulldog in the water on And like, expect them to, to swim like a retriever or something yeah. like that. Uh, our two French Bulldogs, mm -hmm cannot swim. Uh, we actually have life jackets for them, um, but Gizmo loves swimming, but he always has to be wearing a life jacket. And a last con, which is drooling. Yeah, so French Bulldogs are known to be slobber butts all over the place. Mm -hmm. Gizmo cannot control his saliva glands. He will drool over anything that has to do with treats or food. Um, so you're gonna have to kind of be cleaning that up a lot. Usually when they drink water, they'll have drool water bits around the Oliver, bowl yeah. and throughout the house, mm -hmm. wherever they walk after they get some a drink of water. So mm -hmm. just be aware that they are a little bit on the drooling side of the breeds. A little bit messy. A little bit messy. But still cute. Yes. As being French Bulldog owners, we feel that the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Mm -hmm. um, we just want you guys to know all of the stuff prior to owning a French Bulldog. It, be prepared. Just be prepared and know everything but we will always love this breed no matter what. With that, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys learned some things about owning French Bulldogs, specifically the pros and cons. And if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys leave us a like. Subscribe and turn the bell for notifications. Yeah, so you guys get notified when we post new content just like this. And uh, what, we'll see you in the next video, right, Amy? Yeah. All right, right. bye. bye.